Hi guys, we are back at it again. I'm so excited for this episode because <coughs> so, uh, things so over here, the whole plot of the game changes and the other parts are in the description down below. Go and check them out too. And this is the part 4. I hope you guys enjoy and yeah, let's go. Bridges ID. Okay, uh, so in part three, I left here. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Now I have to, I have to take a new order to Capital North City. Sam, this is Die Hartman. Your current objective is to extend the Cairo network from here to Port Knot City. But don't think you can make a beeline straight forward. Signal won't carry that far. To cover the distance, we need to utilize knots. Think of it like uh, tying ropes together to make a longer rope. The first of these knots is a bridge's way station. Go ahead and take a look at the order. Deliver whatever they need and connect the cupid. Okay. Should make a delivery or. Mm, I should take the delivery. Uh... Last void out in Central Knot City brought deliveries to a standstill. Until now. Your cargo for this run is a batch of smart drugs. Oxytocin, to be precise. Oxytocin is effective at reducing stress. So much so that some folks call it a love or happy hormone. Once you've completed the job, connect the way station to the network using the Cupid. Okay. Yeah, we should... Sam, order summaries may contain information critical to your success. Make sure to review them before getting underway. Okay. Okay, uh... Okay, so... <clears throat> you see this uh, red... There are four red icons on this delivery. So, the ghosty thing is the BT, I think, so... Uh, there's a climb I have to climb some places there's a fall there's I have to fall like not like actually fall because there's steep somewhere there's a river in between yeah that's nice it tells the terrain of the following order yeah we should okay We've supplied you with some rope and a ladder for this run. They should help with the steeper inclines, and the ladder will also make a halfway decent bridge if you need to cross a river. Right now, I figure you're thinking about how you want to handle this order. Okay. Ladder. Okay. Yeah, am I uh, attached to the... Am I attached one to the... Attach this... Yeah, am I attached to this over here? Okay. Do I need boots? Okay, okay. Yo, let's go. <coughs> Okay, let's go. Beginning scan. Have a pleasant journey. Sam, triple check your loadout, I take it. What's my terrain? This is my terrain. Okay. Have a pleasant 
journey. Sam, you see that sign someone left over there? You can leave some of your own if you'd like. Messages, warnings, words of encouragement, whatever comes to mind. Okay. Putting signs. I can put some signs. Oh, that's nice. And triple. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I'll put that. Sam, even the best porters have been known to lose their cargo. But you're better than the best. You've got what it takes to finish what they started. If you come across any abandoned shipments, consider taking them to their intended destination. It's easy to find my safe. See, all our packages are tagged with Bridges IDs for easy tracking. And your Ojo deck is equipped with a scanner which might detect said IDs. Which is a roundabout way of saying, but that thing on your shoulder can help you locate mislaid shipments. Okay. Remember, Sam, every parcel is a promise made to a person in need, and they're counting on you to deliver. Okay, there's three of them. Cargo positioning. Yeah, I like this thing a lot uh, in this game that this uh, scanner tells you a lot of things around you, everything, you know, even the BTs, even it outlines the BTs. Fuck. Okay, if I go too deep. Mm. What the? If I go too deep, uh, the uh, kid gets stressed out. Oh no. I'm not saying rain is bad. But, uh... Some people say that rain is a bad sign in this game. Like there's enemy around rain. Rain even <coughs> damages your cargo bit uh, because it, it it's a time fall. And, uh, it get uh, the cargo get rusted and all that. Okay, there are a lot of capital not cities deliveries. <laughs> this or I can just climb this and go there mm. I should climb this because I have no idea of using ladders and these things yet I was going to have a training of how to use this thing oh there's a lot of capital art city okay uh, 
Should use a ladder now. How do you even... Okay, yeah. Uh... Oh, it goes that far. Okay. Should... It should be good around here. Yep. Okay. Oh, that's a big car though. I think so I should not pick that up because it's a... We're a bit heavy. There's a ladder. Not gonna lie, the sound system in this game is amazing. The sound system in uh, Metal Gear Solid was atrocious, but in this game they have they have improved a lot. Okay, now I have to go down. Using rope to descend. I, did, I should build a rope now. Uh, uh, anchoring, yeah. Okay, anchoring rope. Uh, over here. Oh shit! Oh no. This is looking bad. Uh. <coughs> Oh, that was easy. That was a bit steep, not gonna lie. Oh shit, what? Yup, the, over there BTs. You see these black strings, whatever. You call it, yeah, there's BTs over there. Uh, or that, uh, you should not encounter BTs as much as you can because. BTs uh, damage uh, cargo a lot. So yeah. Fuck. I don't like rain. No, I'm not like in this. Only in this game. I like rain, but <laughs> only in this game it's fucked up. So he said I can make a bridge from, you know, la uh, ladder. Oh, sh thank God. Rain is over. That's a good sign. <sighs> okay, I should make a bridge now. I can make a bridge. Can make a bridge. Like I should make as long as it goes. I can make like over here, but should utilize as much it as as I can. Yep. Nice. 
So where do I have to go? Uh, okay, there. Yep. <coughs> I have to connect way station to my Cupid, whatever you call it. Physics and all that, it's amazing in this game. Okay, we are here. Too close. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you. Deliver requested. Delivering cargo. Thank you. We've all been feeling the loss of Central Knot City. No one seemed to know what it meant for the organization or the UCA or us. But the oxytocin will take the edge off, and that'll be a big help. Won't be long before we're back on track. We may have a look. <laughs> this is great. Thank you again. Yeah, everything looks to be in good order. And soon our way station will be too, I hope. Hey. <clears throat> You're with the second team, right? Where are the others? Dead. Caught in the void out. No way. That one blast got them all? And what, they just sent you out on your own? I mean, if it was just a delivery, that'd be one thing. Porters come through from time to time, but... The second team was meant to bring the Cupid. They were gonna connect us up. Three years we've been waiting for help. Three years! And they sent us one guy who was... Shit, shit, shit! Tell me you brought more than the Oxy, at least. I've got the Cupid. You... Really? So it's true. They finally got it working. Well, then you just might be the answer to my prayers. So, what are you waiting for? But you, you put us on the goddamn grid? It's like area by area. I have to unlock the places. Okay. <clears throat> Post box. New delivery terminal. Fabricate equipment. Make delivery. Delivery. Okay. Hmm. Okay. If I unlock any kind of uh, like. <clears throat> any kind of center in a specific area it also tells the surrounding 
uh, like you can say surrounding areas that this is available this is available okay That's nice connection to capital nine city confirmed it's really happening. What, just like Amelie promised. We can finally do what we came here to do. Hey, you're headed west, right? Gonna be a lot of people happy to see you. I guess you'll keep on until you hit the coast, huh? Which means you'll get to see Amelie in person. Oh, that's something. That is really something. I... Me, I've never met her. Only seen her hollow messages back when I was with the first expedition. Well, anyway, you best be careful on the road. There's some bad people out there. More than good, some say. <laughs> but I don't need to tell you that. Thank you, Sam. By bringing that way station into the Cairo network, you've put it in direct contact with those of us back here in Capital Knot City. Right. What's next? West of the way station are a couple of structures our previous expedition put in place. And beyond them is your next destination. Port Knot City. It's on the shore of a crater lake that formed after the first void out. Your objective is to link up Port and Capital Knot. But to do that, you'll need to utilize our facilities as additional waypoints. They'll be essential for establishing a stable connection. Given the distance we need to cover, we're looking at using a distribution center and a power station. As to which you should head for first. Start with the distro center. We've got some cargo that needs delivering anyway. Check the nearby delivery terminal to pick it up. Okay. Good work. New order available. Your hard work's paying off, Sam. Thanks to the increase in network capacity, HQ is now in a position to provide you with additional materials and support. Should prove useful. Okay. Uh, I should make it up. Good work, Sam. I see you brought in some lost cargo. Feel free to submit it here for processing. If you come across any more while out on a run and don't think you can carry it to its destination, you can always put it in storage. It'll be safe and secure until another porter comes along to finish the job. Even if it has to pass through a dozen more hands before it arrives, you can rest easy knowing you did your part. Oh, that's nice. Rick uh, deliver no oh, okay La interesting coming continuing the delivery load. If lost cargo is taken to the facility and other intended destination. Do not summon the cargo, keep in your personal order to deliver it yourself. Okay. Should I? Yeah I should. I should skip this. <laughs> it's a lot of. People think you are as a porter, you can rely on basic orders, but with the time and effort, you won't be recognized as a true legend. Okay. You have reached my grade ten. You need know, to receive more likes. Okay. Hmm. Fabricate. Sam, you can use that PCC to build a post box. Okay. Whatever. Uh. Take orders. Construct a post, yeah. Should do that first. To build a post box, you'll need to use a PCC. 
It goes without saying, but if you're not already carrying a PCC, you'll want to fabricate one. This is a PCC. Uh, okay. with me because holy shit my god is a lot of them Why is he so fast? What does it do? Oh, I got a P. Hold up. <laughs> it's 422. Oh my god. Okay, we are Gucci now. Uh, orders. Wait, uh, should take this order first. I should do this because I'm going from here So I should do this mission because if it's left then it's left behind I got a build there What? Yo 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 what the fuck? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yo, wait, what? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. I gotta get those. Gotta get those. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What was that? What? What? What the fuck happened? Oh, it's raining. Shit. I got some time for them. I don't know. Okay. Access it and select share locker. You 
can share cargo and equipment with your fellow porters. Deposit a ladder and a climbing anchor, and I'm sure someone will eventually come along who could use it. If you've got enough supplies, why not leave some behind? If you're right by others, they'll be right by you. I should run. It's raining a lot. I realize that they're like I've already told this but they're like so uh, set up details in this game like not saying like the visual uh, visual details talking about the gameplay details like you have to get the uh, cargo <coughs> uh, to the destination as fast as you can before rain comes rain affect your cargo and all that that's a nice detail what why is it I can see someone. Who's that? Sam, don't get too close to mule territory unless you have to. Focus on your deliveries for now. Oh, what? Oh, BTs. Nope. So now you're trying to say that I will encounter BTs. Bruh, I was good with moves. I can fight with moves, not BTs. They're scary. Okay. <laughs> yeah, my cargo is getting fucked. Raining so much. My stamina is also. I should drink something. I should drink. Yep, that's nice. Oh, it it repairs my health. Okay, that's nice. Using car uh, car robot to restore. Using too much, but would cause your movement to become steady. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> so like outside this, can I like build things? Why is it saying I can? But so what is the point of disconnecting and connecting to Kyle network? What does that mean? Doesn't make any. Like, change.
so yeah guys drop a like subscribe and be sure to uh, put on notifications because other games are also coming up soon so yeah you should get notified all BTs no uh, shit uh, Yeah, we do. You got company. Say. Oh, okay. Can I please have an outfire now? Okay. Pointing. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. I was just in the. I was about to die. I was about to say this thing is pointing behind me and I left those things behind. Ooh. Oh my car goes fucked, you see the rust? Fuck man. So there's the place. Yeah, I'm good now, I think so. Oh, I should run. I should run now. What? Something wrong, Sam? I don't know. It doesn't look so hot. Uh, nothing to worry about. Its functions are temporarily suspended, but they can be restored. I can perform the necessary maintenance at a distribution center. Hurry though. Okay. What happened to my BB? Oh, my baby is dead. I should go run. When the strain on your BB exceeds sustainable levels. It triggers the production of harmful compounds, and the body, in essence, begins to attack itself. It's called autotoxemia. If your BB's not performing to spec, drop by your private room and see if the incubator helps. Oh, there's a bike. Can I ride it? Hold up. Can I ride it? Why can't I ride it? Uh, uh Sam? Seems like that bike's auto-charging unit is busted. If you want to take it for a spin, you'll need to use a generator to give it some juice. Okay. I need uh, Scanning bridges, I I need PCC for creating generator, I think so. All weapons will remain locked until departure. Start decontaminating suit. Rest is advised. So what you bring us? Let's see it. 
Talk about above and beyond. <laughs> Thanks. Must have had to pass through BT territory to get here too, didn't you? <laughs> hey, weren't joking when they said you were a legend. Well, thanks, I guess. What? There's no cargo damage? Nah, that ain't, that ain't true. I was seeing a lot of rust on them. What? Okay, whatever. That's a good thing for me, I'm not gonna lie. Let's go. Well, this area is open now. Sam, as always, thanks for bringing more folks into the UCA. You're welcome. Yeah, like it. It shows me where the BTs are and everything. Yeah, that that that's a nice thing about like <clears throat> unlocking different different areas looks like we're on the chiral network and with those materials you brought for our chiral printer we can produce supplies for you here as needed think of it as our way of returning the favor now head west and keep on doing what you do good the distro center is on the network Sam, do me a favor. Take your BB to a private room and connect it to the incubator. Good work. Okay. Should take BB. I don't know. Your work is great. So there's a lot of detail given to this kid too. Dead man, you there? Little help. Okay, Sam. Remove the pod and connect it to that incubator. It's in. Good. Uh, a temporary excess of stress. Easily addressed if we return it to its mother's womb. Mother? Uh, located in the capital, not city, ICU. Brain dead, of course. Ah, uh, you mean still mother? Correct. A still mother's womb facilitates a connection between the world of the dead and the BB. And you, in turn, connect yourself to a BB, granting you the ability to sense BTs. These pods were designed to simulate the conditions inside a still mother's womb. BBs need to believe they're in one at all times to function properly. However, we can only maintain this deception for so long, which is why we must periodically update the environmental data by synchronizing it with a still mother via the chiral network. There. The update is in progress. Right now the pod is synchronizing with the Steel Mother in Capital Knot City and reconfiguring its settings based on the latest data. 
Returning your BB to the womb in this manner will temporarily reduce its stress levels. That being where it technically belongs, of course. Kid looks happy. I'll try adjusting the oxytocin dosage. Autotoxemia should set in much slower from now on. <sighs> You should remember that BBs are just equipment. Try not to get attached. Each one has been physically removed from its steel mother's womb. A process that renders them unpredictable and prone to failure. No BB on record has remained in service for over a year. It may need to be retired before this expedition is over. And then? You're saying there's no way to keep my BB alive? Uh, you must understand. There is still a great deal we don't know about BBs. As we expand the chiral network and recover more past data, perhaps we'll find our answers. Uh, oh, right. You asked me to look into why the BTs might be reacting to your blood. I spoke with Hartman. We should have your results soon. Anyway, get some rest. You and your BB are both exhausted. <sighs> Good night, Sam. see me how are things over there still not under guard still not chained up still can't leave but if you can keep making connections if you can get to me we can go back east back home thank you I mean that It's bad. There are fewer and fewer people in the cities these days. No one's having children anymore. But humans aren't made for living alone. They're supposed to come together, to help one another. And if we as a people can't do that, if we can't reconnect, then, well, it's like Bridget said, extinction. Come on. Rebuilding America isn't gonna get rid of the BTs. As long as they're still around, there's no escaping it. But at least we'll have hope. I'll be waiting, Sam. Waiting for you. Come and find me. Hello, Sam. This is Hartman. Since you're awake, it might behoove you to freshen up. To that end, why not take a shower? It's good for the body and soul, and also my research, as it happens. So the thing is that uh, the fat guy, whatever the was a scientist, sciencey guy, you know what I mean. 
He's a he's a nice guy. He's friendly. Not even I'm not even kidding. But yeah.